fish or what, but she got some rods, some small rods, cheap rods. There's two of them in here. Those are both the same. They're both the same? Yeah. So The other ones will come in tomorrow, and we'll do a reveal okay. of those. So I'm guessing that one of these is for if one breaks down. I don't know. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if they're pre-spooled or not. I really hope not, so I can put my own line on them. So. Oh, dear. It's <laughs> just... Oh, no. Why... Okay, so those um, are obviously the more affordable ones. Um, bait casters. Yeah, I want to. Bait casters. I want to say that they were about nine dollars each. Cheyenne had one of these once. I don't remember how well it worked or not. Um, I kept joking about telescoping reels for you, and honestly, this all came from the idea of being able to carry one of these in your pocket. So. Well, see, okay, so I'm going to tell you the first thing that bothers me here is there's no, there's nothing to keep the line from just spooling out. Um, like, if, would you, this I'm is, I'm going to read some instructions here. Yeah, just. Speed down button. Okay, so, so we have a speed down button. So for like, when the fish is just pulling line like a maniac, which I can maybe get six feet of line on here. Um, which is going to be kind of hard to fish. Uh, I could, I could slow him down. I can slow him down. Uh, what else we got here? We'll get a, a, it's a pin. It says it doesn't do anything. Counterbalance. Um, the foot. Okay. The drag knob. So, so it actually has drag. So it might just spin fast because there's no drag set. Let me see if I can set drag. Oh, there we go. Oh, but if the drag's set all the way, you can't cast either. Okay, that's nice. So, um, multiple is, complaints that I saw about this one. This is beautiful. Is that you actually can't um, cast unless you let go of the handle. So the handle has to free spin in order for it to cast. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's look at this rod. Oh, this is a uh, this is beautiful here. Um, yeah, definitely not what I'm used to. <laughs> um, I think you have to like specifically line up all of the yeah. eyelets. Yeah, this that's that is a definite, which is always fun to try to do. Uh, okay, so we got three lined up. Let's see if I can do the third. Um, sorry, I keep I keep like looking at you and not the camera on accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> as far as uh. You, well, so, so is, does the, is it the that's reel? where the reel goes. Is, no, but is the reel the only thing that keeps that from happening? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I think that is. the other one is a lot nicer, okay? I I bought two of these ones because oh, I still won't have that. these were supposedly the better quality pole. Quit moving around. I'm trying to hold and show the camera. These were supposedly the better quality pole. Which I don't know how much I believe that because, like, feeling these. Look at that eyelet. It doesn't feel like a terrible rod, honestly. What it's made out of, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't. There's, like, no flex to this whatsoever. I'm going to forewarn you if you break it within the first five minutes of us recording a video for it. You're supposed to get a lot of content out of this, and you're not going to if you just, like, well, that's right here, we right have now. Two, I guess. Um, you're technically, okay. by the end of this, going to have three reels and three rods. Oh, maybe three broken rods. We don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I don't know what I'm going to fish for with these. <laughs> I don't. There's... Oh, this is a... This is... I don't know what to say on this one. I really don't. Out of all the things, I've fished with some random stuff. I've fished, I, I, you guys have seen me fish with a cane pole, fly rod, bait caster. Um, can you put your hand next to the reel so we can see just, just drastically how small that is? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, work of art. It's all metal though, so I mean, there's that. I mean, I don't know, this this might be a, a next lose rod, you never know. I mean... <laughs> I highly doubt it, but I, I bet it'd be if I if I got an ice fishing video coming up with, but with the way the winter's looking, I'm probably not gonna have it. Uh, <laughs> great rod for that, probably. I'm gonna say probably. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for line per se. Uh, I think the other one comes pre-spooled. 
Okay, that's fantastic. And the other one is an open face. I've okay. been very open about what I ordered with you. I, you just haven't seen them yet. Yeah, well, see, so that, this was the one that I was worried about. Is I like I said with these. That's why I was really wanting to see it. Is oh, that, that you know that handle's just gonna move all willy nilly. <laughs> that is that. Oh, okay. That rod moves too. And where do you tighten this thing? Like. Um, I know where you tighten it. That I'm not having a hard time, but it's like, no matter what you do, you're just you're not. Gonna I get it. I think that part of the end of your video should be us going back and reading the reviews on these because I was. Yeah, the sad part is the sad part is here is like, and maybe I'm just getting false hope and false confidence as much as possible here. Oh, I have tried to express to you not to have any high expectations. Well, here's my thing. I've seen these sold in other places. Cheyenne had one. We never tried to use it. I tried to put it together one time to use it. I don't think I got even to this stage before I kind of got annoyed with it. So one but of it's... the complaints is if you drop it too hard, the bottom breaks of the bottom. actual pole. And, Don't make me drop it. Well, and the whole rod goes out the bottom. Oh, who needs that? Like, come on. <laughs> well, Let's I just, I wanted... <laughs> I like, just... I, I'll tell you what, though, for any baitcaster people who are watching this, if you really wanted a good uh, palm reel, which is nice about baitcasters, you can kind of hold them in your palm like that. This is, I mean, this is golden. You can palm it all you want. You can hold it, you can... What? Smack the camera person in the face? There we go. Like, there. Um. So, again, so, this has to free spin whenever you cast. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, that was... I don't was, know what I'm going to cast on this. The, a lot of the comments said it was a knuckle buster if you ever get anything over, I think, four pounds on it. But then again, I don't think your problem is going to be that if you get a four-pound fish on there. Well, here's my thing. I'm probably going to more take this trout fishing or bluegill fishing first. And if I hook a bluegill or a trout that's pushing four pounds, <laughs> that's going to turn into a whole different video. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. But So now we have I two? think I could take this catfishing as long as the catfish are like that big. <laughs> there's, there's a crick. That used to be behind my old house in Illinois, in East Peoria. And honestly, if you'd given me this, like, back then, I'd have ran it all day. But I was catching fish from, like, that big to that big. Sometimes I caught carp about that big. And that, a carp would be hilarious on this. Even the small carp. But I kind of want to, I think like, I think I might do a two-stager with this. Um, the spillway, you guys have seen me fish at Cleveland Lake in Belton, with just night crawlers or something. This weekend, I might have to take this to that spillway, because those hybrids are in there. Uh, sometimes there's bass. Last time I was fishing it, I ran into some trouble, because I had a turtle that just really didn't want to leave me alone. <laughs> uh, summertime, I didn't post it. I had snakes trying to take my fish off my line and I, actually, I remember I hand, that I, I hand fed a snake on accident which was terrifying <laughs> uh i'm not afraid of snakes but you know when you got a bluegill it's probably about that big and you go to hand it to a little snake and a big snake comes out from under the rock and takes the bluegill from you you just let them have it i mean there's you don't i remember you telling me about that and us seeing the same big snake snake like what was it two weeks later it was two weeks before Oh, was it two weeks before? Yeah, because remember you caught that uh, bullhead. Yeah. Yeah, there's another fish. We're, we're going to we're gonna <laughs> have to go catch bullhead catfish on this thing. Just. I don't know if the back of the packaging says... There is no specs. Well, there is. There no, is. No, there's not like medium heavy, so, package line, anything on the rod. Here you go. Unless it's on there. The, the rod is made of fiberglass and aluminum alloy with mm -hmm. a maximum length of 96 centimeters, which is totally like blank inches. Who knows? Uh, and weighs about 60 grams. The reel is made out of the aluminum alloy brass with a length of 2.4 like, centimeters. Hold on. Can, can I throw this out there? I like how it says... After use, clean the fishing rod in order to be pre prevent the metal fittings from rusting. Use, avoid, avoid using, using petrol, petrol alcohol, or other organic substances. 
Maximum bearing weight is a thousand grams. 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 Sorry. So then we need to we need to convert grams because that's technically it's like max poundage. Which some of the people in the comments, like I said, I got two different quality ones. So this was technically like the the lower quality. And from what I could tell, all of the reels were the same. It was the or all of the rods were the same. The reels were what was different on each one. And I got I picked two. I could have gotten this reel for cheaper. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm just figuring this out. If you actually hold that button down like and you hold it and mean it, it does actually kind of stop it. Yeah. But you can't reel forward with it either. <laughs> That's not like a oh, let me lock the fish up and bring him in. That's a yeah. You're gonna lock the whole thing and give it a second. Not even that. Dude, I'm gonna have to lock that just for a hook set. Like that's Oh dear. Oh dear. Um I really think you're gonna like the other one a lot more. I like this one. I like that I have two of them. I just hope I don't break them. Like, um I right think... off the bat. Like, I'll tell you what, this this rod, I mean, if you wanna talk about touchiness and bite sensitivity, oh yeah, like that's I I think I if unintentionally I bought my, my heavy rod, two lengths, though. My heavy flipping stick for bait that has my bait caster on it that I throw a lot of my jigs and stuff on, and especially my football head jigs because I'm dragging out like a lot of give, like I've talked about in videos before. That would be this. There's just no, there's nothing. It's just stiff. You you just go to like try and do that little flexibility test, and you just bend one of the one of the digits, and it just has a curve now. Just pop. So, oh if these are functional, are we going to keep one in my van, in my, like, Dude, I'm gonna keep one camping in set? Like I said, uh, we can link them in your, like, description and everything. I will share what, what, uh, which ones these ones this were crooked. <laughs> on Amazon. Like I said, I could have gotten this one for, I think it was $1.99 out of, like, China. It was this style of, of reel, though, and I picked the two that had the most reviews. So these had over 2,000 reviews, and I think one of them had, like, four stars. The other had, like, three and a half. So very low expectations. I do have a, I do have a quick question, um, and maybe somebody watching this knows what I'm talking about because I don't understand what this is. Maybe it's a small watercraft. It says suitable for fishing. Now, here's the other issues. I'm going to be mainly bank fishing with this because I don't have a boat yet, unfortunately. Um, from a boat on ice and from a dant. D A N T, what is a dant? I might, have to, I might have to look that one up. I might have to buy a dant. You might have to buy a dant. Whatever a dant is, I don't know. Okay, well, sign off tonight.